Hola, benvindo. Hello and welcome to Have Homestead Will Travel. We have a wonderful property here today. We have a wide range of property videos for you to peruse. Check out the playlist from land to villas, the mansions to tiny homes. Most are in central Portugal, but some are in France, Spain, and even the UK. And hey, a massive thanks to Kelly and Brock for buying us some coffees. Much appreciated. And good luck with your move to Portugal. You'll love it. Good morning. So today we've got an incredible piece of land. It's just, just shy of two hectares. Sold by uh, Amindo. So contact him at the Penamacore office in um, of Remax. And he'll give you any answers that you need. Anyway, uh, it's on for sale for 82,000. It's got lots of fruit trees, olive trees, but it's also got an urban construction for a re recuperation. So this could be something that you could actually legally live in and uh, restore and make it your own. So that's what makes this an exciting property because there's plenty of land, but also you've got this urban uh, license on the building. Also, you're very close to um, Penamacore, Edana and Nova, which are two big you know, towns which have got all the facilities you need. But then there's also Castella Branco that isn't that far away as well. As you can see, of this area here, it's got some nice wild areas that obviously could be open to cultivation. Very pretty. And the views are rather spectacular. It's close to a village called Aldea de Santo de Margarita, which is a very pretty, lovely little village. There we've got some other properties in the village that you might want to have a look at. There's a fantastic views of the Gardini Mountains out towards Fundao and Alpadrina. So let's go and have a look on it. Check out the building. Oh, look at this. Fig tree, lemon tree. Fantastic sharker here, that's really useful. Sharker is like a lake, a small pond, or a big pond, small lake. Uh, which means you've got plenty of water. This is going to be an amazing asset when it gets hot here. So you've got the water here. Great habitat for, for animals too, for wildlife. So then you've got a whole bunch of olive trees. They're going to be producing plenty of olives. It's got lots of lovely vines here. Orange and lemon trees. So the olive trees and the vines just need a little bit of attention, but they'll be back into full production with a little bit of work. And then I can see the buildings. My God, they're looking very pretty over there. What a pretty area, all those big trees. Wow, that's nice. But just in front of us here, there's uh, an area that would definitely be very good for cultivation of vegetables and fruit trees and fruits and things like that. So you've got that, which is really nice. More olive trees at the back there, you can see. But we will get to those lovely buildings soon. And then look, lots more fruit trees. Oranges, lemons, I think there's a pomegranate. We'll get closer and have a look. And big Nespera tree. And again, those fantastic views in the background there. Of the Gardenia Mountains. Well, this is really pretty property. I really like it, actually. Oh, I want to see those buildings. Come on, let's go and have a look. So a bit further down the track, the track up to the buildings looks absolutely fine, just needs 
uh, a bit of strimming and that'll be feels firm underfoot. We've just had loads of heavy rains and it's still here so and it's not waterlogged, it hasn't been washed away. So I think this track all the way up to the buildings would be very usable with just a strip. Got some lovely, this is nice features. Got some roses along this bit, which is a really nice feature here. So we've got some roses as you come up to the building. And I think that's really lovely. It's obviously been utilized, you know, lived in before. If you're interested, definitely get in touch with the agent and get a booking to come and see it. Really, really useful. So your workshop there doesn't need any work. It's ready to go. The roof looks in good condition. Just could benefit with the chimney just being fixed at the top there and a wood burner put in and that'd be a lovely space to, to do any work that you need. And then come around here, and this is quite special. The building itself needs a little bit of attention, obviously, but inside is actually a massive oven, a bread oven, pizza oven, whatever you like. So that is a really, really nice thing to have. There we go, we have a bread oven. That looks ready to use. Looks in really good nick, actually. Wow, fantastic. So I like this area. You've got quite a lot of uh, trees to, to make it sheltered from any storms or winds that you sometimes get in this area. Um, you've also got lots of fruit trees right by your sort of living area for your houses, this beautiful fig tree which would give lovely shade, uh, a lemon tree there, and some pine trees. One of the things it does have is mimosas that are beginning to creep in and they're a bit of a pain, a bit of a pest, but they can be utilised because you can cut them back, cut them back and you can use them for building soil or for making things and they can be controlled and it doesn't look like there's too many to be for them to be totally out of control. I think you could get control of those quite quickly. I love the way that you look out across more olive trees here as well. So you've got that lovely area. If you've got friends coming in camping, there's loads of ample space and that under that olive grove would be a lovely place for them to camp. Obviously it needs a bit of clearing up. There's the previous owners have obviously left some things for you that you might want to uh, remove, but that's not a, not a big problem. In Portugal, if you've got things like this, you can either take them to the local tip or you can arrange for them to be collected by the camera. So, the, so you know, that's not a problem really. It just takes a bit of time. So here we have the actual building itself. This has a, an urban license. So if you want to uh, live here permanently, then there's a good chance you will be able to obviously talk to the local camera, uh, the local council about any permissions that you want to check and make sure that you've uh, obviously done all your research that you need to do. It's a really nice, strong, proper granite building with great potential for renovation. This is just at the side of the building. It's a really nice space here, very secluded, which is really nice. You've got some eucalyptus trees there as well, but this would be a really nice place to have a your secluded sort of seating, seating area. No one would see you, lovely. And then obviously you've got your lovely olive grove here. So as I say, you could clear these mimosas that are here. This is just at the back of the house. Uh, lovely area, actually. You've got this beautiful, absolutely fabulous pine tree here that would give you shade in the summer. And then... 
So this is a nice area. There's some lovely rocks there, boulders you could make a feature of, and then you come down here, and this is what I like. There's some of these lovely cork oaks that will give you a bit of income every, I think it's nine years. They can be re stripped. This one's been stripped reasonably recently, um, but I think more importantly than that is they're just beautiful trees, incredible habitats for wildlife, and they give you a lovely area of shade. So this this little spot here would be a lovely seating area, a lovely place to hang out in the hot summer. You could uh, definitely find a cool place to be just there. And then we come down, we're coming down from the top, so the, the buildings are near the top of the land and then you come down this side and we've got some more indigenous oak trees and pine a pine tree and some more smaller coat uh, oak trees and then we come back to your well and so like I say this uh, definitely does not lack in water so it'll be a fantastic area to grow vegetables that's what you want if you want your food security etc etc and what i would potentially potentially do is while you're renovating your the house here if you've got the funds then buy a small house in one of the towns and villages nearby uh, we've got some examples of those that you can look at that are available, give you an idea of what's available. And so you can have the best of both worlds. And while you're doing this up, you can go back to a nice house without having to sort of try, live, in, live in the place that you're working on. And that would be a really good way to do it if you could. And then of course you could either rent that property out once you've finished here, or you could sell it. So then you would potentially, I think you would get your money back at the moment. The, the, the market here is quite buoyant. And then we're, you know, a minute's walk from the house and we come to this really, really lovely sort of terrace with lots and lots, very jealous of this, lots and lots of orange trees and lemon trees and lime trees and pomegranate trees and other trees, fig trees olive trees so you have a really really nice diverse range of uh, fruit trees here already established which is really nice you actually can walk into the village and the village is a beautiful village very friendly we've filmed a few houses in the village and oh we got chatting to some of the locals and they're all really friendly and lovely so one thing this kinter is not short of is water here's a lovely well massive well three meters across and you've got this lovely tank here that could obviously be utilized for agriculture or you might want to do like OK Portugal and Portugal from scratch. They both made really good use of these and made them into plunge pools. At the top of the land as well which is really good so you can utilize that, pump it up and then it can gravity irrigate the ample opportunity to have vegetable beds and everything else and look at all these fruit trees that are there but if they need water in the summer then you've got that easily accessible but i should think a lot of these trees are now totally resilient probably don't need watering at all hello <laughs> just been filming the nest the bees in the nest tree. Anyway, here's another well that it has. Again, fantastic place to position to have it. You can just literally pump it out, pump it up, get a solar pump. We've got a video on that if you want to look at that, uh, about our irrigation system. Very simple, but, um, but effective irrigation system. But yes, you can pump up and that, look at this brilliant area just here for growing vegetables. I think that's where I'd be growing my vegetables in amongst these fruit trees as well. Uh, brilliant, brilliant space to be doing all of that. So another fantastic feature of the Fizzy Land is this natural patio, this huge granite boulder. 
massive. This is amazing. Look at this amazing, huge granite boulder rock that you have. Absolutely fabulous. It's like a almost, it's almost a rectangle sort of place. And it gently slopes upwards to where you can see that pointy larch tree. And that is where the buildings are. So this track leads up to the house. This one, however, is lovely because this leads you to this orange grove and where all the fruit trees are and where the massive boulder is as well. And so, yeah, so it's really well planned out, well thought out uh, piece of land this, I think, because, you know, you've got your lovely specific areas here, like there, you've got your orange and fruit grove. Here, you've got your uh, one of your olive groves, and then just here, you have some really lovely vines. And so, it's been really planned out, you know, uh, whoever set this up knew exactly what they, they were doing. And so, you've got this all this sort of formal stuff ready to go you know to have this lovely great uh, grapevine area here is brilliant and like i say all these easily accessible and then you've got your house just up there another olive grove there see at the back there you can see and those the taller trees at the back there is where the boundary of the land is and then you come around and pretty much the boundary is where those taller trees are there. So you get a really nice sort of shaped piece of land, really well planned out. So you haven't got to worry about all of that stuff. You know, that's all been all done for you. It's just about renovating the vines, getting all of these trees back in their full production. And we've also got some lovely lavender it's wild lavender dotted around which is nice and you've got lots of nature coming back into here that you could control or encourage at your whim so really really good well sorted piece of land ready to be made into your perfect home so much space you could put a polytunnel here and make it a market garden you could just grow as many you could easily feed yourself and a family with this land uh, and you've got enough fruit here to to sell to barter for other food so and money so you'd be able to um, make a you know you could make this work you could make this a, a definitely a, a place to make money and it's also just a beautiful place as well and can you guess where this is in the uk there is a clue
We have a wide range of property videos for you to peruse. Check out the playlist. From land to villas, to mansions, to tiny homes. Most are in central Portugal, but some are in France, Spain, and even the UK. Again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.